Hi, I'm Neil from uh, Keep It Cool Refrigeration. Uh, we've just completed this project for Woodford Organics. Uh, we've installed four 10 horsepower condensed units from Panasonic, uh, matched up with Lube uh, CO2 evaporators. So in one room we, in dispatch, we have two Lube um, evaporators, which are single systems. In retail, we have a twin split, and in the hanging room, we have a twin split also. Rutherford we're trying to achieve with, with a greener solution. Um, basically, they, their options were either going down the route of the CO2 systems or a hydrocarbon system. The room volume that we've got, the hydrocarbon system, is not, not realistic with the amount of duty that's required in here. So the, the main option was going down the CO2 route. With the, with the Louvre EC coolers and the Panasonic system, their running costs will be dramatically reduced compared to traditional HFC systems. So the system we have here, he work on both subcritical and transcritical. So just to give you an idea, uh, once the ambient temperature drops under 32 degrees, so the system will work as a subcritical system, which makes the system super efficient and then gives a lot of saving to the user. For this project, we had a choice if we were going for 60 bar coolers or 85 bar coolers. We went with the choice of 85 bar coolers mainly because when I spoke to Keep It Cool, they were more solving the idea of actually having two coolers off the one uh, Panasonic unit, therefore able to spread the airflow across the entire room a lot easier using smaller fans. By doing it on one cooler, we'd have to use a larger, a larger cooler maybe more fans, but the fans actually be a lot larger, thus making it a lot more energy inefficient rather than having these ones here. Alright, what we have here, we have a twin stage rotary compressor and uh, having two inverter drive, one for the compressor and one for the fan, makes the system uh, super efficient. The units themselves have EC fans in them, so basically they work a little bit different to AC fans, which means you get a lot more performance out of it with actually using a lot less uh, power for the actual unit itself. So on the actual coolers themselves, you can see the grey covers, they're jet streamers, so it actually helps with the commander effect to help get the airflow stick to the ceiling, so the airflow can be reached all the way down to the very bottom end of the actual room itself. With the, the, the running system of this setup, you've got low electronic expansion valves, which will give you a closer tolerance with the refrigeration process. Uh, it's more reactive than a traditional uh, thermostatic expansion valve. Powered up with Panasonic, the inverters on that, you're, you're drastically saving so much energy with the compressor ramping up and down the speed, which is cutting the electric cost. When it comes to installing it, the Panasonic units that we have here are 10 horsepower. They actually have a suction filter, which must be installed. Acts as a strainer and a muffler as well, so it allows the system on the suction side to perform a lot better. So if you want to have floating suction, you can. Especially when you link them up with Corel EEVs, you can have the float suction reduced quite dramatically compared to a TEV. Okay. So all our CO2 system comes in with a large uh, receiver. So here we have a 12 liter receiver, which is very handy when the system works on subcritical and also help with the pipe run. So here, for example, so this system can, uh, can have up to 100 meters of pipe run. Okay.